another episode of 60 Second Freezing Cool Antarctic Facts. This is brought to you by the Worm Herders of Antarctica. I'm your host, Polar Trek teacher Kevin Dickerson. We only have one minute, so focus up. Good evening, and evening it is. It's 10.30 at night. See our beautiful sunset out here in the Ross Sea, McMurdo Sound. I'm on Ross Island, that's where McMurdo Science Station is. And I'm going to show you about uh, how compasses work. So here's my compass I brought from home. And uh, uh, there's a difference between magnetic north and geometric north, geographical north. Geographical north is the North Pole where all the lines of longitude meet. The magnetic uh, south pole is going to be where the magnetic pole lines up and uh, it just so happens that the magnetic south pole right now isn't even on the continent of Antarctica it's off of Antarctica uh, and there's a thing called declination that's the difference between the two geographic and magnetic currently it's about 140 degrees difference which means that if your compass did work, it would lead you in almost the complete opposite direction. So I thought I'd show you this though. Here's my compass and you can see that white needle is pointing down. Look at as I'm rotating around, that compass doesn't even spin. The needle stays the same. That white needle is dragging down on the bottom of the compass. So kind of fun to play with, but uh, not real useful. I mean, you could rotate it around and, and try to get that off of the the bottom of the compass, but uh, for the most part, not real useful. Um, now we have a GPS here. Show you my my GPS. It has a compass on it, compass page. And the key thing you need to remember with the GPS is you've got to be moving uh, if you want to get the direction that you're going. So if you'll look at this, you can see we're headed about in a south, about a south-southwest direction. And if you look out, you can see White Island and Black Island. And right between those is where the South Pole is. So... As long as you're moving, the GPS compass can be reliable. We've used it out in the field on this trip. Uh, when we get dropped off by helicopters, we use GPS to know where we're going and how to navigate back and where we're going to get our uh, samples from. Um, if we have any special finds, then we'll mark them with GPS. If we find like seal mummies, you know, dead seals that dry up, possibly hundreds of years old we'll mark those with gps so we'll know where those are at but there you go do compasses work in antarctica now you know and uh, it just took three minutes enjoy the sunset